Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm so excited because today we have a new Sony G Master lens. This is one of my favorite lenses and it just got a little bit of an upgrade. We're gonna be talking about the new Sony G Master 24 to 70 lens. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I missed the briefing about the specs, the upgrades, what's exciting. And thankfully I have my friend Sydney who is the camera gear expert and he's gonna help me out. Hello. You were on the call, weren't you? I was on the call and I was very impressed. And if you wanna see the lens, here it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is great. So we're actually obviously using the lens to film this. I have it on the Sony a7S III. This is so light. Oh my gosh. Noticeably di different, right? Yeah, it really is noticeably different, especially when like if you're vlogging, you know, sometimes I vlog with the 16 to 35 or the 24 to 70 because it's just the most versatile lens, I feel like. What you're holding on your left hand is the original 24 to 70 G Master lens, a great lens. The only downside with the original 24 to 7 G Master lens is that it's a little bit of a thick boy. It's, it's pretty heavy. It definitely is a little bit heavier. This makes it really great for, you know, you're always traveling, I'm always traveling. My backpack gets heavy, but what else is new about it? Ooh, okay, all right, let's get into it. So obviously it's lighter. Uh, it's also a little smaller as well. It's uh, shorter and it's it's almost equivalent to the 16 to 35 G Master lens. And so if you have that lens, that's pretty much what it looks like, how much it weighs, very similar to that. There are a lot of cool new features uh, in the Mark II version. Uh, like for example, one of my favorite new ones is the smoothness tightness uh, switch where you can determine how smooth you want the zoom to be. Now, when it comes to zooms, a lot of, it's a, pretty much a split camp. You know, some people much prefer smoother zooms. Some people want more friction just to control the zooms a bit more. Well, now with the 24 to 70 G Master, Mark II, you can decide by flipping the switch. And on the original 24 to 70 uh, lens, there is one multi-function button, but with the new one, there are two, so that you can you know, do a focus hold or just whatever you want, you get two multi-function buttons. Of course, you have the autofocus manual switch, that's always nice, but what's different about this lens is the uh, aperture ring. Look at that. Yes, I love that, having like the physical aperture ring. That's pretty great. Yeah, that's also yes. declickable, so that's cool. And I believe it's the only zoom lens in this category that actually has an aperture ring. So that's that's a fun fact for you. That is pretty great. And actually, what we're filming on right now, I have on a ND filter. So the lens hood on this actually has a little little slot here that you can still adjust the ND filter. Yes, ND you can look through the window and adjust from there versus having to like, oh, what is it? What's the number? And then it gets all smudgy because you accidentally touch it. That is like a small little feature that I actually didn't know I need. And I really like that. Yeah, and really they make made this lens specifically for video creators. And it, it, it's, I, wanna, I wouldn't wanna say it's a cine lens, but there's a lot of features adaptive uh, from those lenses to something that's uh, more prosumer. So I can't wait to test this lens out more. I'm gonna be having a weekend adventure and taking you guys along. After the video, be sure to check out Sydney's channel and his official review video about the lens as well, because it's gonna not disappoint. I already know that, and I promise. There's a bug on the There's lens. There's a bug on the lens. Can you see it? I, I don't, don't know, know. If you see it. I see it with my eyes, but that's okay. Okay, on to the next adventure with the new 24 to 70 zoom lens. We are now picking up the video with the rest of a little vlog. I'm actually at a rental house right now with my family, gonna be spending the week here. It's really nice, super secluded, overlooking this lake, and a uh, sunset is about to happen. So I'm gonna try to get some B-roll shots, get some photos, and just test out the new 24 to 70 G Master Mark II lens. Maddie, honey, come on, you could come over. He's terrified, he's like, absolutely not. You me carry you? He's like, I'm gonna be brave. You're a good boy, honey. Hey, it's nice to see you. How, how have you been feeling? I've been feeling good, I'm setting up a bird feeder, dude. So, this bird feeder has been basically my hobby for the past two weeks, and now it's gonna be a part of your hobby. And we brought it to the rental house because one of the things that it said here was that you were gonna see an incredible bird. It's in the description. Should I test it, like, if I'm a bird? Yeah. Okay. Here I go. Oh my God. Don't ever do that once the birds come. No, because that's, you get bird flu. Okay, just so you know, okay. That's the first test. You know what the, the pigeons do? What? The one pigeon, it goes. Why would he do that? Somebody told me on TikTok that the brown stuff is just like filler, uh, and that's what the companies do to sell you all the crap. Now we wait, I feel like that might be a little too, like should we put it over here where the birds can have privacy? No, they're not getting privacy. They want a meal, they're eating here. You heard it here first.
The sun is setting and we hear a bunch of coyotes. Now this house really is kind of set back up in the mountains. So we gotta be careful with the dog because we definitely don't wanna be messing around with uh, any coyote business. So I'm gonna take the dog for a walk before the sun sets and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of this vlog. It is the next day. I'm on a little trail right now. We got the fam, we got the dog. It is uh, very, very hot. It's still super early, but it's been really hot in Southern California. So we're gonna go out for an early morning adventure. So we had a nice little walk. Kinda kept it short because it was very, very hot. And now it is time for breakfast. Now you don't want that, buddy. He did not want it. Breakfast time. What did you get, Jess? Exactly what you got. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a big bite. That's a big bite. Back at our rental house now, I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little tour because this place is so big that I don't think I have the energy to even give you a full tour. In here is kind of like the little pool area where we've got some games, we have foosball, ping pong. And then here, here's my room where I was sleeping last night. I could not sleep at all last night because I was 100% convinced that this room was haunted. So, could be, who knows. All right, I'm gonna go put my bathing suit on and go to the pool. So I'm just hanging out the pool right now. It's actually, let's see what the temperature is today. It has to be 90 some degrees Fahrenheit because I am melting. Okay, it's actually only 81 degrees today, but there's not much wind happening in this area by the pool. So, so far my experience with the lens is pretty great. I don't know if the 24 to 70 would be my vlogging lens, Definitely a lens for an overhead camera or even just, you know, if I'm out shooting like a lot of B-roll or, you know, nature stuff or even pictures. I love using the 24 to 70 for pictures, but I can definitely see this as an overhead lens or just one that's stationary on, you know, in my studio. So this is just a review unit that I've been using. Am I gonna upgrade? my 24 to 70 or am I just going to get a new one? I have been wanting to get another lens for my studio just to make it easier. So I might be purchasing one because I am really enjoying it and just the video and the pictures and everything that's coming out of it just looks so good. It also still does work with all of my other ND filters so I don't need to buy new ND filters. It's all the same. Okay, let's have a photo shoot and take some pictures uh, of myself because no one else is around me. So I'm gonna open up the Sony Imaging Edge app and take some pictures of myself from my phone with the camera. that's gonna do it for this video it was just kind of a short little vlog and also just kind of me announcing that there's a new lens and that I have been trying it out definitely gonna be uh, hopefully getting some more hands-on or purchasing this lens soon when it comes out there's gonna be a link in the description if you want to check out more information about it or pre-order it but yeah I am a huge fan I'm very impressed with everything about it love that it's smaller love that it's more compact just overall love the 24 to 70 G Master lens because it's a very versatile lens one of my favorites and that's uh that's all we got to say hey jess yo nice to see you where are you, nice you there, there you go out. little chilly so there's gonna be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and make sure you subscribe i'll see you again soon for some new videos bye